guys, welcome back to my channel. Grace here. If you're new to my channel, I'm a digital growth strategist. Many people think SEO search ranking optimization is hard because it seems there are no absolute formulas that you can follow to improve the search ranking. However, this isn't the case. Today, I'm going to show you five SEO hacks that are simple, easy to implement, no technical know-how, and then most importantly, to boost your search ranking instantly on Google. If you're ready, let's get started. Hack number one, content relevance. I can't emphasize enough how the relevance of your content can influence your search ranking. To be specific, this is the content relevance that Google thinks in related to the user search query. Tip number one, include relevant keywords and variations in your content. Identify your target keyword and make sure you include all relevant keywords and content as much as possible. There are different types of keyword research tools that you can use. I would always recommend starting with Google Keyword Planner if you're new to SEO because it's free. If you don't have Google Keyword Planner, you need to create a Google Ad account in order to use Google Keyword Planner. Go to the URL in the description box below. Once you're on the page, click Go to Keyword Planner. Input all the information and click Submit. Once you're done, click Explore Keyword Planner. Once you're in the Google Keyword Planner, click Discover New Keywords. This is where you get new keyword ideas. Type in your target keyword. For example, if you want to rank for the keyword vegetarian dinner ideas, you can input it as a seed keyword and get a list of relevant keyword ideas. Identify at least 10 relevant keywords or topics that to be included in your content based on its popularity in terms of the average monthly search volume. For example, we got vegetarian easy dinner recipes, quick vegetarian meals, cheap vegetarian meals, then make sure in your content include paragraphs that talks about these topics. We will talk more about keyword research process in coming episodes. One thing to emphasize here is not to do keyword stuffing. We are not to stuff all these relevant keywords in your content, but to elaborate the content around these relevant keywords in order to improve the overall content relevance. Tip number two, include commonly asked a question in your content. First, open your desktop browser, go to google.com, type in your target search keyword. Now, on the search result page, there is a section called People Also Ask. Google showing these questions because these are the questions that people are always searching for answers. Pick at least three of them and include the answers in your content. It will significantly improve the relevance of your content and thus the ranking as people search within this topic. Bonus tip here. Repeat tip number one and two to make sure your content is evergreen. Google prefer fresh content. The more frequent you update your content, the higher chance that you can get better ranking results. Keep in mind, when you update your content, try to add them as new paragraphs, but not to rewrite the whole passage so that you won't lose ranking for those keywords that you have already ranked for. Also, make sure you update the dates to be reflected on the search result page. Hack number two, page title. If you're new to page title, it is the title of your page as it appears on the search engine result page. And I can guarantee you 100% of the time, Google will look at your page title to understand what your page is about. And it's definitely an important ranking factor. Tip number one, optimize your page title to include your target keyword. Be keyword specific and to pick only those relevant keywords that your page is really about in your page title. To make sure your audience can guess if your content matches what they're searching for by looking at your page title. If you can, try to put your target keyword near the front of your page title so that Google and users can figure out what your page is about quickly. Tip number two, make your page title compelling to the search users by answering their questions or solving a problem. The goal here is to increase the click-through rate of your page title. Once Google is getting the click signal of your page title, it will significantly help to boost the search ranking. Focus on answering the questions from your keyword research process and optimize your page title. Bonus tips, use the search result page stimulator. It is a simple tool that allows you to stimulate and preview the search result snippet on Google. And the Mango Stimulator is my favorite. 
You can find the URL in the description box below. Type in your page title to preview the results. You can test different variations to make sure it's compelling and fall into the recommended character limits. It's that simple and easy. Hack number three, include FAQ schema on your page. An FAQ schema is a markup language on your page for Google to crawl and to create what we call a rich snippet that directly shows the question and answers on Google's search result page. By showing as the rich results, your page can have high visibility and potentially high click rate on your search results for boosting the ranking. Remember in hack number one, I have told you to include the commonly asked question and answers. Now it's time to mark them up with FAQ schema to further improve the search visibility. To generate the cooks, you can use either a FAQ schema plugin or a FAQ schema generator to join the cooks without much technical know-how. If your site you're using WordPress, I always recommend you download the Rank Map plugin. It is the powerful SEO plugin for WordPress and it automatically activates the schema markup creation as you create your FAQ list. From Rank Map, you can choose the FAQ block and start typing your sets of questions and answers. If your site it isn't powered by WordPress, you can use the Merkle FAQ Schema Generator. You can find the URL in the description box below. Choose the FAQ page under the drop-down menu, then start typing your question and answers. As you're typing, the corresponding codes uh, will appear in the output section. Click the copy button to copy the codes and paste it into the hack section using your HTML page editor. Bonus tips. Include at least three sets of questions and answers so that you have a high chance for Google to show your results as a rich snippet. Hack number four, backlink building. What are backlinks? Backlinks are links on one website that points to another website. Having backlinks from authority sites is by far the most important ranking factor on Google because it directly signals Google about the quality of your content. The more backlinks you can get, the high chance that your page can influence the search ranking. However, backlinks are often difficult to get. These tips will help you to get backlinks in an easy way. Tip number one. Create highly shareable infographics or content for backlinks. From the keyword research process in hack number one, identify the most popular topic that your audience is interested in and create the content in a highly shareable format, such as an infographic. There are different types of infographics. The example that I'm going to show is a statistical infographics. Go to google.com and search your topic plus statistic. Now, go through each result and identify at least five to six statistic facts and summarize them into your infographics. To easily produce an infographic, I highly recommend using Canva. It's free. On Canva, search infographic statistics under template. And you can see a bunch of template you can start with. Pick any you like and pull the statistic into your infographics. Export it as an image and include it in your web page. Remember to cite back all the source link in your web page and remember to optimize your page title for visibility. Tip number two, create highly linkable free tool or resource page. Think about the most useful tool that your audience would love to use. If you're a digital marketing agency, you can consider create a free online LOI calculator. Or if you're doing career consulting, you can also provide different types of free resume templates. For example, the Indeed resume template page got almost 1.4 thousand backlinks, which is really awesome. Once you build this free resource, consolidate them into a web page with an optimized page title. This is the quick way for other websites to link back to your page because of its high value that provided to the search users. Tip number three, ask your business partners or clients. If you have started your website or online business for some time, you can definitely outreach to your business partners, vendors, or clients for putting a backlink from the site. For example, if you resell it for a product or service, or if your vendor offering a service to your clients, you can definitely outreach to them to put a link that points your website in their showcase page, distribution page, or whatever it makes sense. Outreaching to the existing business connection is the easiest and faster way to get backlinks because you're already doing the business with them. Bonus tips, check the site domain authority before doing your backlink exercise. 
go to the free website authority checker by Arif. You can find the link in the description box below. Type in your target website URL that you want to request for backlinking, then the domain authority score is shown. Most of the time, you should target a site with domain authority with score of at least 40 to 50. Hack number five, internal link building. According to most, internal links are hyperlinks that point to another web page on the same website or domain. Although it is not as powerful as an authority backlink, it does signal Google which pages are more important by tracking the total number of internal links. If you want to boost the ranking of a particular web page, you should increase the internal links with good page authority. Page authority is a score developed by models, which predict how well the particular page can rank on the search result page. Tip number one, link the page from your homepage. Homepage is usually the page that has the highest page authority because it's at the top of your site hierarchy. To boost the ranking of your page, consider putting the page link directly from your homepage. Tip number two, link the page from two internal pages with significant high page authority. Besides the homepage, get two more internal links with good page score. For a free page checking tool, you can use the most link explorer. URL is in the description box below. Type in your target internal link and click Analyze. The page score will be shown. While the best page authority score is 100, it may not be the case for your web pages, but you should always aim to link from the top internal page in terms of page score. Bonus tips, always aiming to get at least three internal links for your target page, particularly it's a new page, because it takes time to accumulate enough page authority score on Google. Also, be mindful to only pick those internal links that are relevant to your content and is logical to your audience. There are tons of other SEO ranking optimization tactics. All you need to do is to start with those easy to implement yet effective. Once you start, keep trying and pivoting until you identify the most effective tactics for your business or clients. If you find this video useful, please give me a thumbs up and to make sure you subscribe to my channel to learn other digital growth strategies. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.